You're now tuned in to the Lady Charmaine Live Show, and I'm your host, Lady Charmaine. And as always, I got another great interview for you today, and I'm going to tell you who it is coming up right after this. My guest today is a recording artist and actress. She is a former member of the two-time stellar nominated group, ZL. And she has shared the stage with some of gospel's biggest names like Yolanda Adams, Kirk Franklin, Marvin Wyans, and the Clark Sisters. And she is here today to talk about the much anticipated Lifetime movie, The Clark Sisters, The First Ladies of Gospel. Help me welcome to the Lady Charmaine Live Show, Miss Christina Bell. Welcome to the show. Hi! <laughs> Well, I know this is an exciting week for you because we get to see you showcase who you are on the, well, I was going to say on the big screen, but the small screen as well. And I got a chance also to preview uh, the movie, girl. It is wonderful. And it brought back so many memories. So congratulations to y'all. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, ab- absolutely. Now, girl, I want to know how are you keeping busy during this monumental moment in time called the coronavirus? I got everybody sheltered in place. What are you doing to keep busy? Listen, I'm still having to work. So, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got an essential I, job. <laughs> I, I, listen, I'm still, well, no, I'm actually having to work by, uh, because I have to continue on doing interviews. I have to continue on um, doing music and all that good stuff. I have my setup and everything at home. And, uh, you know, I I think it is very important for artists <laughs> to always have a microphone, a computer, and an audio box so that you can always have something set up in order to keep keep you busy in times like these. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my daughter and I, we were talking about the music that's going to be coming out of this corona uh, virus situation. My daughter said nobody should mm-hmm. not be coming out with no music. Everybody should have a single popping towards the end of this year. Because, <laughs> I mean, everybody should be in there being creative, Listen. writing, okay? <laughs> Please write something. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. I know that's right. Well, we know that this weekend is going to be a huge weekend uh, for you. We get a chance to see on the screen on Lifetime, the Clark sisters, the first ladies of gospel. So I want you to tell us about the movie and the character that you play. Sure thing. The movie is an absolutely phenomenal movie, of course. Not just because I'm in it, but <laughs> but because it really tells the life story of the Clark sisters. They're um, humble beginnings and all of the wonderful things that their mom has done for them in order for them to be who they are today. I play the role of Twinkie Clark, of course, the, the queen of the B3 organ. <laughs> and I am so honored to be able to even do this role because, you know, she's endured a lot. You know, she had to endure divorce and um, she had to endure just, and it's not a big it's not a problem, but she had to go on the road with her mom a lot. So she didn't get the opportunity to have a personal life herself. So she had to kind of create one. She had to create her own lane. She had to do things that were um, unorthodox for their family. And I am very, very ec- ecstatic that I get the opportunity to portray this so that people can see and understand where she's coming from, why she made the decisions that she did in life. Mm-hmm. And so the movie is going to be absolutely incredible incredible to watch now how did you prepare for this role did you have to spend time with Twinkie sit down to really learn her essence unfortunately so I've actually met Twinkie quite a few times well I've I've got the opportunity to sit down with Twinkie uh, quite a few times before but not concerning the movie concerning the film so I got the opportunity to sit down with um her niece of course Kiara which is playing Karen her mom and uh I also got the opportunity to sit down in the front of a screen and watch uh interviews that she did and uh watch how she uh you know went through life as far as playing on the organ and being with her mom I had to be online quite a bit 
and also one of my managers, they grew up under uh, the Clark sisters and their tutelage. And I got the opportunity to talk to him and see what, you know, what she did and did not do, you know, as far as uh, her posture and all that good stuff. So unfortunately I didn't get the opportunity to speak with her until after the movie was, was over with. And she told me that she really, really loved the, the, the movie. So what was it like in rehearsals, especially with Kiera, since, you know, Dr. Maddie Moss Clark was her grandmother. Did she during the rehearsals kind of uh-huh. show you like, no, this is how my grandmother would do it. So what was that like for you all? So I asked her how, um, how she remembered her grandmother. And she said she didn't really remember a lot about her because mm-hmm. of course she was young when she, when she passed. Mm-hmm. So she didn't get the opportunity to spend so many years with her. So we basically all were, we were all learning the Clark sisters together, even Kiera. So um, it wasn't really a lot that she could really share with us, but she had to call home quite a few times to see, you know, certain, to ask certain things of her mom mm-hmm. to get some information. But, you know, again, we were all learning uh, at the same time. So what was it like in rehearsals, like really putting your vocals together? Did you guys do singing or was everything more so just lip syncing to the sisters' voices? No, that's us singing. Oh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, <laughs> so so yeah, how long did you guys have to, to rehearse? One and, oh, we had to work with Donald Lawrence and uh, we rehearsed... Uh, Actually, we rehearsed before we got to Canada. So two weeks before we got the music, um, we actually knew all of the music except probably one song. And that is one of them that's circulating on the Internet, uh, If You Can't Make It. Mm -hmm. And um, that song is the one that I don't think any of us knew that song. But when we got there, we had to spend... I believe a week in the studio so that we can get everything down as far as backgrounds and all that good stuff is concerned because Donald Lawrence is a Clark sister fanatic. Right. So he helped (laughs) us to um, articulate and, and just be on point with the Clark sister sound so that we can get, get that the young Clark (laughs) sister sound out. So why can't, why did you guys have to film in Canada? Um, that I'm not really sure of, but I do know that, um, it, it, almost resembles uh detroit to mm-hmm. be honest with you so um you know there it's cold in mm-hmm. detroit at that time of year so they needed you know that background uh but i think that it was some things that were going on uh, that they really couldn't uh get as far as certain uh buildings and all that good stuff or whatever so of course canada was all all for it you know <laughs> right, they were right. like, yeah bring them over here you know <laughs> you can pay us i here. know that's yeah. right <laughs> Well, if you're just tuning in, we're talking to actress Christina Bell. She is playing Twinkie Clark in the Clark Sisters story, The First Ladies of the Gospel, which is going to be airing on Saturday on Lifetime. So, Christina, what do you want the audience to take away from watching this film? So I always say have an open heart to this film. Uh, Of course, this is the very first gospel biopic that you uh, will be seeing Mm -hmm. and I believe that it is so important that we all have an open heart so that we can see that these women that are gospel royalty did not just grow into being that and they didn't have any problems like Mm -hmm. they faced life issues for real for real Mm -hmm. and they are so important to our gospel uh, heritage. And so I believe that when you see this film, you'll get the opportunity to experience some women that have hardships. They had uh, sister beef <laughs> right? <laughs> and uh, they didn't always agree with uh, what would be going on in industry and all of that stuff. And so it's important that you really have an open heart and understand that the Clark sisters came from humble beginnings. And so they're, they were most um, valued for singing and Twinkie so so much value for her playing and all that good stuff, but they still had to endure life. So make sure that you have an open heart and you, you're really paying attention to what decisions they all had to make in life uh, in order for them to be where they are today, including Dr. Maddie Moss Clark, because she is such a um, big part of, a huge part mm-hmm. of why they are where they are today.
I learned so much from watching this movie. I was so surprised, uh-huh. didn't know all that was going on with Dr. Maddie Moss Clark behind the scenes, also with yep. Twinkie. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's really an eye opener. And I think many people are going to be very surprised when they watch the movie. It was so good. And it really gives you Absolutely. a greater appreciation for the sisters and what they had to go through. Just even a greater appreciation. Absolutely. So, so that's what I got because I watched Absolutely. it like several months ago. <laughs> but I was like, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, Lifetime sent it to me a couple months ago. So I got a chance to view it. So it is very good. And I just want to say thank you so much, Christina, for coming on the show. If people wanted to follow you, where can they find you? So thank you so much for having me, Charmaine. You can go to officialchristina.com and everything that you need to know about Christina, all things Christina Bell is going to be right there on that site, including my handles for social media and also where I'll be once we get out of quarantine. (laughs) (laughs) So so everything will be right there on on officialchristina.com. And of course, I do have music out that's out right now. Uh, My... uh, First album is Just Believe, and then I have a single that's out right now called Going. Called Going. Wonderful. Make sure you guys go online and get that, and be sure to tune in to watch the Clark Sisters, the first ladies of gospel, airing this Saturday on Lifetime at 8 and 9 Central. So be sure to tune in. And again, thank you so much, Christina, for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Have a blessed day.